Hey guys, what's happening? So, I'm going to be making a video. I know it's going to be kind of cut up. Um, just because it wasn't my original intent to make a video like that. But, uh, I wanted to build an air mining rig. And I wanted like a self-contained unit. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I had to go through some crazy, like, motherboard dilemma. Sorry for the background noise. I'm putting out a, a new, actually, new case for this thing right here. Um, old new design mining rig. But, uh, I had to actually go back to Micro Center four different times. And, uh, the issue is I was actually using a brand new processor, 5950X. And, uh, with multiple different chipsets. But I'll show you the, the, the following video. It's kind of cut up everywhere. Uh, just because I wasn't originally intending to make a video like that. But, uh, yeah, it was more of like a, this is sort of like a, a BIOS dilemma with the newest processor. So, all the motherboards, they actually supported this processor. The 5900 series processor. But, you had to do a BIOS upgrade first. And I was trying to, I was hoping I would get the, the BIOS lottery. Because I was buying brand new motherboards. So, I was hoping they would actually have a BIOS revision that was new enough to support the processor. So, um, yeah, headache, four trips back and forth to Micro Center. But I'll show you the four different motherboards, and this is the one I finally got working uh, based on the chipset and just the BIOS revision. So, yeah, like I said, if you, don't have an, if you don't have an old processor to upgrade the BIOS, you can't even fire up the motherboard. So, but I'll show you that, and, you know, if you are going to be going through this, you don't want to watch the whole video. Uh, if you want to save yourself a lot of time and buy this processor, make sure you get a motherboard that actually has flashback. So if you don't have an old processor, then use uh, make sure you get a motherboard with flashback so you can flash the BIOS without the uh, processor being in it. Or you're just going to be stuck, like I was. So, four different trips. Alright, here comes the uh, following video. It's kind of messed up, so, okay. Alright, so that's a 5800X. Um, the guy said he only used it for about a month. I mean, it's still a pretty new processor. It's a fifth generation. Like I said, I'm not a fan of AMD stuff. I've actually, I got a couple angry comments on my last video because I said I wasn't an AMD fanboy. Um, well, maybe I, I didn't explain in detail why I wasn't an AMD fanboy. Um, I mean, I was a software developer in the late 90s, uh, early 2000s, and one of my jobs was to test software on different hardware. And I always had a lot of issues on AMD hardware. I mean, it's probably proven, but I mean, back in the day when I was testing software, you know, and coding, uh, I had a lot of issues with, with uh, AMD stuff, but you have to remember, Intel is the inventor of the x86 instruction set. AMD was AMD compatible, backwards compatible. So it's sort of like uh, the IBM and Compaq BIOS situation, where it was just a clone of their BIOS. Um, okay, so I've ranting about that. Let's get on this 5800X. Right, so I don't have the RGB hooked up, but because this is actually an X processor and not a G processor, um, it's not going to have onboard video, so you'll need like an external video card. Um, yeah, 1500X. So if it actually had a G on the end of it, it'd have a built-in GPU. Like, they're usually the low-end processors have the G. Alright, power to the power supply. And this should be the front panel connector here. What's that? There it goes. I don't like the fact that I'm not going to be able to use a, uh, what's it called, a pulse modulation control fan. Alright, make sure that's on my test monitor here. Let's see. Here's a video. Alright, that's the DVI connector. Let's switch that over to be honest. Yeah, like. I'm pretty much sure uh, it's the, the processor is just too new for the motherboard. Uh, so if I can do a BIOS update to this thing, then it, it would actually probably most likely work. Um, which I forgot to mention what it was. It's a B450 Aurors. So it's actually kind of like a higher-end gaming board from Gigabyte. Uh, okay. And then it should be, I mean, usually on the front panel connector, it's right here. Okay. That's my test monitor right there. What is up? No video. Yeah, I'm getting pretty bugged with these motherboards, man. <laughs> God, 
yeah, there's no way to update the BIOS. I mean, unless you want a binary processor. Like some of the newer boards, they actually have the, the flash BIOS. You can actually hit a button or you can just put a USB flash in with the CPU and recover it. But man, not this. All right, All right round two. Let's go back to Micro Center again. Return the other motherboard. Hopefully I'll have better luck with this one. I couldn't even, they, they're out of their stock of a lot of stuff they have. So this is an Asus Prime B550M. So it's not a really high-end motherboard, but basically came with nothing. <laughs> yeah, no accessories. But I don't really need the accessories. Oh, get the IO plate, and that's cool. I noticed this motherboard has two M2 drives. EPCIE. Right, let's try this video cord thing again here. I can't remember, this is like a cheapo Radeon. Um, all right, let's see, get this thing on power, and where's the front panel connector? I hate when they're in a weird spot. Um, like, normally they should be back here. I mean, it's supposedly this thing is tested, so, um, okay, looks like it's right there. Okay, power on the power supply. I mean, now that I actually have a bad, bad CPU, this guy burned me on the CPU on Craigslist. Uh, yeah, that's, I don't know. This is actually my third motherboard I've tried this in. So, not just two. I've only showed you two in this video. I mean, what the hell, man? I tried a different video card, I guess, too, but... That is really weird. All right, back from Micro Center again. I just need this pain to stop. <laughs> so, yeah, I got this. Actually, I tried to change my route. This is actually a, a Micro ATX board, or ITX board. And uh, it was 229 definitely not cheap. But it has the X570. And I've been actually trying to play the BIOS lottery. Like, I know these chipsets support the, the processor, but if you don't have an existing processor to flash it, or like this new feature, like a flashback on the motherboard, you're not going to be able to use it with the latest CPU. So hopefully 570, well, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about, but a lot of these newer motherboards, um, some with the 550, and even like my new, the 550, the other board that I have, my mining rig I showed you, um, that actually has a flash, flashback feature too. So the flashback feature allows you to... Um, you know, flash it without the CPU in it. So, uh, yeah, I can I can actually upgrade the BIOS without the CPU or memory being in it, as long as you have power. Um, this new motherboard, it's a Aorus 570 gigabyte gaming motherboard. Um, I could have bought one for like $100, a cheaper one. Um, I just like the way this looks. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna design a whole new uh, 3D printing system, but I'll make another video about that. So instead of actually using this thing right here that I created, 3D printed rig. I'm gonna be designing a new ITX little small little form factor uh, little mining setup here, CPU mining setup. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'm ever gonna get into profit with this thing because it's gonna take forever. I got so much money in these, these uh, and they don't very make a lot of money, so I guess it's just more for fun, I guess. Or maybe eventually I can use it in my, my computer, but like I said, I'll probably just do Intel stuff. So, um, or for my main work computer, I'll use Intel. Um, all right, so let's get the motherboard on there. Uh, we'll fire it up, see if it works. All right, so here it is. This thing is tiny. Um, I just thought it'd be cool, you know, um, changing my route now to this ITX form factor. You know, it would actually be mounted on top of the motherboard. So I got to design something in Fusion 360, but like I said, I'll make another video about that. I just want to get this thing up and running and mining. So, uh, the newest chipset, and this is the flashback feature I'm talking about here. So you can put a USB flash drive in there and just hit that button and it will flash it with the latest BIOS. No CPU required. So I gotta put my memory back in. Also, I decided to upgrade to a Samsung. I mean, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna have this much money into it, then I might as well get the, a better SSD drive, you know, than the inland one here. Um, because, I mean, this would be a kick, kick ass computer, you know? I mean, 16 cores, 32 threads. 
Um, yeah, I'd probably if I was using it as my personal computer, I'd probably have more memory, like 64 gig of memory though. This is the 5800X CPU, but I'm actually going to be putting the 5950X. Once I get this thing installed, I'm going to put Windows on there now just to do some quick mining. All my HiveOS licenses are on other machines. So, uh, yeah, before I take the other processor out, I just want to make sure everything works, updated, BIOS, all that stuff. Alright, so uh, get the ATX power on here. 24 pin here. Make sure it's the right side. And 8 pin CPU power. Should probably make sure this thing's off first. Yep, off. Got the processor installed, the RAM is installed. I'm not going to do the uh, um, SSD until I know this thing fires up. Um, because it's an X processor, I need to have an external video card. Get my display port connector. Okay. That should be the front panel connector right there. For power. Power on. Okay. Make sure my this thing has changed to display port. Uh, Yes, and then go back, and here we go. Yeah, the cool thing is if this thing doesn't fire up, I can flash the BIOS, but that's weird. I know, I put this processor in my other motherboard. It worked. That was weird. Still no video on this thing. This my monitor is bad. Right, 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 right. Ah, dude. Can't believe it. I mean, literally, I sat there for like 20 seconds. It took 20 seconds for that thing to boot. BIOS has been reset. Okay. All right, I gotta hook up my mouse to this thing, keyboard. That is awesome. So finally, I'm gonna get this thing working. <laughs> it only cost me 230 bucks for the motherboard. Yeah, right, guys, this is gonna be in this video. It's kinda long. But the moral of the story and what I learned is that if you're gonna be running one of these brand new processors, you either need to have an old processor to flash the motherboard that's compatible with the motherboard or you need to have the, the BIOS flashback utility so you can actually flash it if you don't have the processor uh, or that or get the latest, latest technology which is super expensive um, but that's cool so if you're interested in my next upcoming videos I'm going to be designing like I said a, a 3D printed mining rig uh, case here so like super small form factor Oh yeah, I can maybe get like one or two or three of these maybe, if it's still profitable. Uh, because I'm sure these things are going to start getting scalped already now. Um, you know, they're going to be buying them all up from like a uh, Micro Center or whatever and, and scalping them. Alright guys, cool.